We're still in Colombo to join Pakistan women's cricket captain Sana Mir as she led her team out yet again. But not onto the cricket field though, the 26-year-old brought her teammates out of their Galadari hotel comforts to have a sample of Sri Lankan cuisine. We, we love to try different food and uh, it's usually like uh, when you, you come out of uh, away from home, you miss the home food because most of our moms are really good cooks. So it, it is really nice to enjoy different cuisines when wherever you go in Asia or in the Western countries, it's really enjoyable if you uh, can just taste some different cuisine. It is with that bold spirit which led her to discover her love for cricket. Born in the city of Abbottabad, Sana was never going to be spared the nation's obsession with the sport, but it was a loved one who sparked her interest. I just uh, hung up with my elder brother and I used to go with him, play with his friends, and that is how I just adopted the game. And it was the 92 World Cup when I was, I think, six years old that uh, we won the 92 World Cup and at that moment I just wanted that someday I can represent my country and bring glory to Pakistan. The then 19-year-old Sun Amir made her long-awaited debut for her nation in December 2005 when Pakistan took on Sri Lanka in an ODI in Karachi. That was a big moment for me, for my family. They were all very happy because it was my dream to represent Pakistan from the very early age. Every, anyone who used to come up to me and say, what do you want to be when you grow up? I used to say, I want to be a cricketer. So there was, I never knew that there was a women's team, but at that time, still, I, I used to say that I, wanted to, I want to be a cricketer. Recreating that kind of support is one of the leg spinners' duties as captain. Leading the team on the field and off it, she rallied her diners to spring a small but pleasant surprise to a member of the team management staff. A natural leader, she was an easy choice by selectors to succeed Uruj Mumtaz as captain in May 2009. She was already leading her domestic team, the Karachi women, to numerous honours by then. We were uh, like winning the national championships and then my individual performance was also getting better. So it was the right time, uh, I think, that I was, I was feeling confident and the team was developing and it was a really special moment for me because I always wanted to be, I've always wanted to lead the side and I always wanted to lead from the front and that was a very special moment for me. Her appointment as captain led to instant success as the Pakistani women became champions at the 2010 Asian Games. People were now starting to take notice but with it came the expectations. The Asian champions were unfazed, however, as they began 2011 with a T20 quadrangular win in Sri Lanka. Two big victories on the trot and confidence was high as they toured the West Indies next. But the mighty Windies proved too much for them as they were humbled in both limited formats of the game. Sana, however, is adamant those losses were crucial in shaping the team's mentality. The whole experience of West Indies have really changed us a lot because we had, uh, if you see the results, they, they don't tell you the real story. We, we lost the one day 3-1, we lost the T20s 3-1. But the way we played those matches, we uh, took every match to the last ball. Whether we were all out on 65, that didn't matter. We took the match to the very last ball. The team now knows how to fight out. So that was a very important tour for us. A testament to that newfound edge was an historic victory against the South Africans during the qualifier for the 2013 ICC Cricket World Cup this year. On a personal level, she was recognised for her leading part in the rise of Pakistani women's cricket when she received the tamgar e imtiaz Award in March, one of Pakistan's highest accolades. This tamgar e imtiaz has not been given to me, it's given to the team because this team has produced results. And uh, I'm really thankful to the uh, Pakistan government, my teammates and, and the board because this is a very big thing and this is, I think, I, I've become the first Pakistani cricketer to get that and I hope that in the years to come more Pakistani girls can get that. An inspirational captain, a national icon and a trailblazer for women all over the world, Sana tells us the recipe for success. First of all, you have to realize that if you want to be good at any field, be it cricket or any other field, you have to know the, the value of working hard. You have to be patient, you have to work hard, and you have to really devote yourself to your field. If you want to uh, like be a good cricketer, just uh, these two things should be in your mind, that you will be learning every time you're playing cricket, and you have to work hard.